Howdy partners. Looks like there's a new kid in town. <laughs> Actually, it's not new at all. It's the Hario Switch. It's been around for quite a while and I'm a little bit embarrassed to say it almost passed me by until it didn't. And while the V60 traditional version will always have a special place in my heart, having used this for the last couple of weeks, I'm really impressed with its addition of a very simple little valve between the server and the carafe. Having the switch is a genius little move because it allows you to both immerse the coffee and percolate the coffee. So using a two-step process, we can produce a bolder cup of coffee um, with a bit more flavor and a bit more than a filter coffee. Whoa. The recipe I'm gonna show you today is a hybrid recipe. Hybrid meaning the first half of the pour will be percolated through the grounds, the water's gonna be allowed to flow through. The second half of the pour, the water's gonna be trapped and the grounds will be immersed for a specified amount of time. This will build up flavor. Once we release it into the carafe, we'll have a beautiful, bold, sparkly cup of filter coffee. So come on, partners, let's brew. Oh, I won't do that anymore, no more of that. And today we're gonna to be brewing with Honor Coffee's Rwandan single origin filter coffee. This stuff is delicious. I've put a link for Honor Coffee in the description below so you can go and check them out. We're also gonna be using the Fellow Ode Batch Grinder. This is the older model. We're using setting 2.2. One of the cool things about the Fellow Grinder is under the lid, it gives you this guide for different coffees. That grind setting seems to work for me. You can see there 2.2 is part of this bar here for pour over coffee. Do let me know in the comments if you've got one of these grinders, I know a lot of you do, and you've got a different setting that you prefer. Just let me know and we can experiment further. There's our ground filter coffee on setting 2.2. We've treated ourselves to a new packet of filter papers. Simply fold along the seam and then open the filter paper up. And I can't remember why now, but I read ages ago that the seam should always face the handle. I don't think it makes any difference, to be honest, but I've always done it since reading that, just in case. We rinse the paper through to get rid of any papery taste and let that flow through into the server below. And then we discard that water. And now our ground filter coffee goes in. We just make a little divot in the middle of the coffee to try and help all the water soak through the grounds. All right, guys, pour number one. The valve's open. We're going to fill it to a total of 150 mil with the timer running. I'm just starting in the middle and I'm working my way to the outside of the bed. Oh, just a little bit under. So as you can see, the coffee's percolating through. Depending on your grinder and the grind size of your coffee, and really depending on the coffee, that will dictate how quickly this water travels through the grounds. At about this mark now, which I guess is about the 45 second mark, I hit the switch. It's time for the second pour. And I like to go from the outside just to encourage the, um, the rest of the bed into the middle. You'll see it all being pushed in there as I work from the outside in. And this is the second and final pour. And this takes us up to 300 mil. We finished that on about 115 that pour. So I'm gonna leave that now until 215 and I'll release the rest of the coffee through. In similar fashion to a V60, I also like to just tap that down. And on occasion, not today because we're filming of course, but generally you'll see bubbles pop up, meaning that some dry parts of the bed have been immersed in water. Okay, 215, we hit the switch and allow the coffee to drain through. I think the drawdown on this particular brew is a little bit slow. I think I could have gone a tad coarser with my grind. But there we go, we've got a nice, even coffee bed. Everything's looking good. So there we have it, guys. A quick and easy way to make delicious coffee at home again. This time using the Hario Switch. This recipe is quite adaptable too, so depending on the beans you're using, the grinder you might have, you might want to change things up a little bit. Slightly less water, slightly more coffee. The reverse of that. Despite having just made a mess there, the other great characteristic of this is that you can lock the switch off, carry it across from your bench to the bin without making a mess like I can't normally do. Cheers. Ooh. Shut up. Yeah, I'm definitely getting prunes, raisin and malt from that. I would say this little guy is the perfect match for two types of people. You'd be making V60 coffee for ages and you're a little bit bored of it maybe, or it's a little bit too complicated to make every morning. This thing makes life a lot simpler. Or you're just starting to enjoy filter coffee, you wanna get into making it at home, and this is a great entry level way to do that because it's an easy to memorize recipe, very straightforward, simple process to make. So basically, a broad range of people. Anyway guys, I'm gonna finish this. See you in the next video. Love you, bye. Whoa.